reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and thumping in time. The green light flashes, the flags go up. Churning and burning, they yearn for the cup. They deftly maneuver and muscle for rank. Fuel burning fast on an empty tank. Reckless and wild, they pour through the turns. Their prowess is potent and secretly stern. As they speed through the finish, the flags go down. The fans get up and they get out of town. The arena is empty, except for one man still driving and striving as fast as he can. The sun has gone down and the moon has come up. And long ago somebody left with the cup. But he's driving and striving and hugging the turns and thinking of someone for whom he still burns. He's going the distance. He's going for speed She's all alone All alone alone in a time of need Because he's racing and racing and plotting the course He's fighting and fighting and riding on his horse He's going the distance He cannot define Bowel shaking earthquakes of doubt and remorse Assail him, impale him with monster truck force In his mind he's still driving, still making the grade She's hoping in time that her memories will fade Cause he's racing and pacing and potting the course He's fighting and fighting and riding on his horse The sun has gone down and the moon has come up And long ago somebody left with the cup But he's striving and driving and hugging the turns And thinking of someone for whom he still burns He's going the distance
The only time you use the brakes at Indianapolis are coming into the pit lane and stopping in your pit box. Everywhere else, your left foot's just a long pit away. The trick here is being able to run as close to another car and not lift off the gas. When you're out front, you have to be mashing the gas big time. The air's a lot cleaner, you've got a lot more downforce, so it is easier to go flat out front. You've got to be really careful because your foot doesn't have a brain. If you get a itchy feet and you want to go flat out all the time, you might get caught. for a big surprise. My first year here, 2002, I probably had about a 9, 10 second lead. I had about 25 laps to go, and I was virtually flat out the whole time and ended up in the wall in turn four. In 07, Monday morning quarterback, I should have lifted. I thought it was clear at the time, and I moved that extra inch, and Weldon was sitting right there. Well, oh, no, another crash, and it's upside down. It's Marco Andretti. Sometimes the closing rate is quicker than you think. Unfortunately, that's what happened to Conway last year. Oh, we've got a crash! Oh, wicked crash! Oddly enough, there's not that many laps during the race that you're flat. It's so long. It's about three hours of racing. You not always go flat out. In fact, you got to lift a little bit. If that car doesn't feel good going into one, you're going to lift. Your body will do what it needs to do. Your mind sometimes is telling you lift, lift, lift. You've got to keep your foot down. Sometimes you've got to put your left foot over your right foot, hold it there to make sure that old foot's not shaking there in the middle of the corner because you're a little bit scared. Since we were little kids in go-karts, that's all we tried to do, not to lift. So every time you uh, come here to Indianapolis and you have to lift, it's a little bit of disappointment. When it comes down to the last 20 laps, that's game time. You need to make passes, you've got to stay flat, you've got to keep the pressure on the guys in front. This race is about patience and then being smart when it's time to go. It's not just about being fast. I mean, how many guys are being very fast and never won this race? I'm one of them, so uh, trying to learn.